With all the blockchains around the world fighting for the dominant the computer or the web 3.0. Damn it! Ah, God. Game face. That's the realign your chakras. Say a quick prayer to the uh, content gods. All right, let's do this. With all blockchain networks fighting for the dominance of the number one world computer or Web 3.0, we are seeing a fight for dominance as we speak. Now we know Ethereum is in the lead at the moment, is one of the first networks that are up and has a, a great use case. But let's have a quick look at some of the alternatives right now. And uh, for us to do that, we need to have a look at what is required of a network. It needs to be secure, easily programmable for developers, decentralized, scalable, and nimble like a fox. Ethereum has been dominating in this space for the last few years and we're starting to really see the dad bod develop on the Ethereum network and it's due to their network slowing down, the Ethereum gas fees. Now we know Ethereum 2.0 is in development right now, however, it couldn't be any slower. And us as a crypto investors, we are very impatient. We want things now and we want them fast. And as we start to sort of venture out and see what other networks are being developed, I've got one for you to keep an eye on. Welcome to Adapt Crypto, where we bring you the hottest gems within the space. We don't do it to pump our own bags, we tell you what is up and coming so that you can make the decisions that you need to make before things pump. Join us in the Telegram, we have a Discord, and uh, we have a pretty badass group of people looking for gems every single day. So, uh, what are you waiting for? Let's crack into it. Now, I want to give full disclosure, I have found this project months ago, uh, a friend got me onto it and uh, developing, or sorry, setting up one of the nodes and doing some of the testing. So please use my information as potentially biased, but what I will present to you is some of the facts so that you can make your own decision. This is presented to you uh, well before mainnet launch or the cryptocurrencies in trading. So I think you're gonna find that uh, this information very valuable. Now, one of the things that I love about the MENA network is that it is nimble like a fox. And uh, they do this with this technology called SNARKs, also known as the recursive zero knowledge proofs. What's cool about this is that they will always have a limit on each of their, you know, each of the blocks or transactions that they do of a file size of 22 kilobytes. Now, if we have a look at some of the other networks, I'm not going to name any other networks, but some of them are pushing through like two terabytes at a time, and it is crazy. We're seeing these networks slow down, come to a halt, being unreasonable with some of the gas fees. So some of the advantages of these, you know, of, of this nimble network is that it allows other devices to connect with it. You know, could you imagine connecting to your phone and having to, and all of a sudden your phone starts pushing through two terabytes at a time? Now, I'm not saying that's quite accurate. However, it is much more difficult for information on a blockchain to become scalable and then pushed into uh, you know, all these other devices who are with different types of capacities. So with the SNARKs, which is something that's featured within the MENA protocol, it has an advantage because the file sizes that transfers across the networks are very, very nimble. Now, how these SNARKs um, work, and I won't go into too technical a detail because my brain be too, too small. How they do it is they essentially, uh, on the chain, they actually just take a snapshot of the, you know, of, the, of the blockchain itself rather than send the whole blockchain onto, you know, throughout the network. They send a snapshot, and then they put the new information on top. So essentially, you have, like, layers and it's you know scalable and I've got a little graphic uh, next to me here. But yeah, essentially, rather than pushing an entire elephant through the network, they just send through a photo of an elephant. Now, one of the things that I really like about Mina Protocol is that they have developed a community of developers. And I think this is very important because you can't have a good network without a good team. 
and the team needs to all be on the same page and running things. And this project has been in development for quite some time. And I think if you have a look at their community sizes, you have a Telegram with about 43,000 people. You have a Discord with a, just a wealth of knowledge of these pe- technical people who are just getting right into the, you know, into the this creation of this network. Now, right now, I'm going to talk about the partners. And as you can see, there are a lot. Um, now, I don't, I'll, I'll admit, I don't know a lot of them. Uh, a lot of these are sort of Asian-based However, the one that sort of stands out to me is Coinbase Ventures. You can sort of work out what happens from there or speculate it as you please. Uh, just a week ago, we had the MENA Foundation and the Ethereum Foundation uh, announce a joint request for proposals. Uh, this is to enable the recursive snark applications on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, I'm not too across what this process means, but essentially uh, they welcome proposals for you know, projects aiming to design and implement a mechanism to verify the pickle snarks, pickles snarks <laughs> on the Ethereum virtual machine. So what all that mumbo jumbo sort of means is that they're looking at ways to potentially make this interoperable between two diff- the two different blockchains. When you see a blockchain launch, you want to make sure you get in early. Now we all talk about Bitcoin, how it used to be in a sense. We, we talk about Ethereum, same thing again. We talk about, uh, you know, Cardano it used to be like a fraction of a cent. Uh, even Polkadot was quite cheap uh, back in the day. So what I'm trying to say to you is that if you get in early, you get to know these projects at the ground floor, right? And maybe you just put a little bit in the moon bag and trust that this technology is revolutionary and that people are going to need it then you are going to get in early, like, like you wish you did with Bitcoin or Ethereum and all those other exciting blockchains. I have a few pie graphs here, and I actually don't mind uh, their allocation or distrib- um, distributions. They're, they're quite balanced. They have a decent proportion to the community, and I think that is important. But I'll let you guys sort of analyze it. I don't really have an opinion on the tokenomics. I think they're, they're fair. I'll leave the tokenomics link in the description, I also will put down all the other links so that you can do your own sort of research. Mina has a huge collaboration of information everywhere, and I know they're sort of working on compiling it all onto the, the website. And so it can be a little bit hard to find, but I did the work for you, so it's all in the description for you guys to sort of have a look at. Let's talk about the team. I've had a look at the team, and I'll just comment broadly. You have a very junior team with very strong academic qualifications. Uh, they have all the right qualifications to sort of make this work. Uh, one, of the, one of the more interesting sort of characters is Emir Tech Iself. Pretty sure I nailed it. Uh, anyway, he is one of the former Coinbase employees who worked in business development. So with that being said, you can sort of, you know, there's a bit of assumption here, but there is that little connection with, uh, with Coinbase. I'm going to wrap this up. This video is really to, you know, present some of the key information for you guys to do the research. This project is very junior. It's very, it's on the ground floor. It's got a revolutionary sort of technology, and I urge you guys to have a look at the technical white paper and have a look for yourself. There is a lot of quick maths, and uh, they've got someone who is a mathematician writing it all up. So. Uh, very interesting and uh, if you're a mathematician let me know in the comments what you think about it um, I highly recommend that you sort of do a bit of research uh, get involved with the team you can be early you can get in this um, I'm one of the Genesis founding members and I think that uh, I'm very impressed actually I'm very impressed one of the things that I highly recommend that this project looks into and I'll be keeping an eye out and I already have spoken to one of their members uh, about this is the development of smart contracts. Now we know how important that is within the DeFi industry. I'm going to assume that they're going to do the same. Now I'm going to give a quick shout out to a guy within this community. And if you want to seriously look into it and get into, you know, this project, I highly recommend that you get it, uh, reach out to this guy. His name is Kankomo. Kankomo. I'm butchering it. Uh, I'll spell it out for you. It is K-U-N-K-O-M-U. He has a stake pool, which you can search for on Handshake. 
It is called stakewithme.kankomo. Kankomo. Uh, he's one of the most helpful community leaders within MENA. He actually puts in a lot of time. So, you know, if you're not sure how to run a node, reach out to him. He will, uh, I'm going to assume that he will give you a hand and he will help you get all set up. He's even got a staking pool. So if yeah, all that sort of seems technical, um, you can stake with him and uh, it's much easier that way. No worries, Steve. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in at Adapt Crypto, where we bring you the hottest gems. And this one is going to be big. Uh, but, you know, time will tell and maybe I'm wrong. I highly recommend that you get into our community. We have a Telegram at Adapt Crypto. We also have a Discord that you can be a part of, which is also Adapt Crypto. And all those links are going to be down in the description for you guys. If you are a fan of Mina, let me know. Throw a comment down. Let's get some, let's get some awareness out there. I love this project. It has an excellent vibe. The community and the team, they're massive. Uh, very well done. I love the imaging, uh, the, sorry, the brand that it's sort of established. And I think this is going to be one that sort of fights for that dominance in a few years. Till next time, I'll catch you later.